Blockchain holds the potential to revolutionize countless industries, from finance all the way to artificial intelligence to gaming. The possibilities are nearly infinite, but there's a certain $1 trillion industry that's ripe for disruption. And we just saw a major announcement about this this past week, and basically nobody's talking about this. And if you've been plugged into blockchain or crypto in any way over the last decade, then I bet you didn't see this coming. So I'm going to explain exactly what is in this video today and why you need to pay attention to this. I'm going to talk about all this as a blockchain developer myself who works this technology on a daily basis, who watches this space day in, day out, every single day for the past seven years. So if you're new around here, hey, I'm Gregory, and on this channel, I turn you into a blockchain master. So if that's something that you're interested in, then smash that like button down below and subscribe. And if you want to take advantage of all the opportunity that's happening in this growing industry, then the best way to do that is to increase your income by becoming a blockchain developer. And I can show you how to do that step by step from start to finish over at dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. All right, so let's talk about this industry that's getting disrupted by blockchain technology. So what is it? Well, it's the automotive industry. See, the North American automotive industry is well north of a trillion dollars. The U.S. alone has a market size of approximately $1.5 trillion in revenue from road vehicle and parts retail trade as of 2024. And there's so many different use cases for blockchain technology in this market. And one way that's starting to see actual use cases of blockchain in the automotive industry is with car titles. Because just this past week, we saw a massive announcement that the state of California is digitizing 42 million car titles on the Avalanche blockchain. Yes, you heard that right. A U.S. state government is actually taking action to incorporate blockchain technology to solve a real problem so that it can model and facilitate the transfer of ownership of vehicles on the blockchain. Okay, now this is a massive deal. All right, and I'm going to do for us this video is explain you know, how this is going to work and what are the implications of this for the future. So first, let's explain what it is. Let's start with the basics of a car title, you know, and understand how we can use blockchain for this. Well, a car title is basically like a birth certificate for a car. Okay, it's a legal document that proves that you own the vehicle. Uh, whenever you buy a car, the title is transferred to your name, uh, showing that you're the new owner. It includes important details like the car's make, model, year, uh, and vehicle identification number or VIN number, like you'd see on Carfax. Uh, if you sell the car, you could sign it over to a new owner who would then register the car in their name, okay? So that's what a car title is. So why is blockchain the perfect use case for this? Well, because blockchains by nature are public ledgers that are purpose-built to track ownership and transfer value, okay? Because just like a cryptocurrency, a physical car is a valuable item and you can prove that its ownership is real and you can move it around and you can do this digitally with blockchains. That's exactly what they're made for. So let's see how it works. Well, let's hit some of the high points uh, from this announcement here. So they're announcing a large scale implementation for California Department of Motor, Motor Vehicles, the DMV on Avalanche, successfully digitizing 42 million car titles as a part of an ongoing effort by the state to modernize the title transfer process of California drivers and DMV representatives. So they have three partners that are building a DMV run blockchain to streamline the vehicle title transfer experience for California's 39 million plus residents. Again, California is the fifth largest economy in the world for the seventh consecutive year with a nominal GDP of nearly 3.9 trillion in 2023 and a growth rate of 6.1% annually. So the digital titles will soon be claimable uh, by vehicle owners through the DMV secure mobile wallet app in minutes using a verifiable credential. So basically, they have the car titles out there in the blockchain. And if you want to opt into this so that you can claim your car title and, and own it on the chain and transfer it, then you can do it through their portal. So basically, the escrow-like Avalanche blockchain smart contracts are mediating the title transfer, and this will allow consumers to track and manage their pink slip vehicle titles digitally cutting down on trips to the DMV and the post office. That's huge. And also, there's the benefit uh, that it can provide early warning system for lien fraud with its core function as an immutable ledger. 
uh, that bad actors cannot manipulate. All this comes in the back from consumer demand for more automated processes, the ability to transact online, and that's what blockchain allows it to do. So that's a quick summary. So why is this a really good thing? Well, number one, it's a blockchain use case that doesn't have anything to do with crypto. You know, crypto has been around for a while. I believe that DeFi and finance will be the largest use case for cryptocurrency because, you know, that's really what it's made for. It's a closed system. But I believe there's many potential use cases beyond just that. And this is one of them. And this gets me excited because it has nothing to do with financial speculation. But number two, why it's a really good thing is actually solves a real world problem. Blockchain's got this bad reputation for being a solution in search of a problem. But this is a great counter to that. I mean, people hate going to the DMV. And I feel like I don't have to explain this, right? Have you ever seen the lines of that place? It's practically become a meme. You know, people would rather have jury duty, go to the doctor, or even just stare at a blank wall for a few hours rather than go to the DMV. You know, they, the employees have a reputation for being humorless and really slow. I mean, just go watch a Pixar movie. And it solves this problem because it actually automates the process to give owners a win so they don't have to go somewhere. And it also reduces headcount for people required to facilitate these value transfers, which really should not be big for something this straightforward. It's easily automatable. Like when you sell a car, you should just be able to sell a car to somebody without having to jump through all these extra hoops and go through this red tape just to get the thing off your hands. So another good reason that this is a win is that it's opt in, okay? This is something people can opt into for convenience. It doesn't require all California residents to just start using digital titles on chain. And obviously, initially, only you know really tech-savvy people will adopt this, but there's potential for this to grow to mass adoption as people start getting used to using blockchains this way. And the last reason why I think this is a really good thing is that blockchains can handle the scale for this right now at present day because there's low transaction frequency, okay? So what do I mean by that? Well, blockchains have a bad rap for not being scalable, all right? And that's kind of true in the present state. We know we're working on that, but you know, in its present form, we don't really have good blockchain technology that can handle mass adoption where, you know, everybody's settling every single credit card transaction across the entire world, all stock trades and gaming transactions, social media posts. We don't have that type of scale presently, but you don't need it for this particular use case because think about it. Vehicles don't change hands very often, and you only need to be able to process these transactions anytime somebody sells a car. So that transaction frequency is pretty low, and we can handle it now. Now, there are, of course, some remaining questions about this implementation. Like, you know, what happens if somebody claims the title to their car, and then they lose their private key? Okay, this is a common problem in the crypto space right now. So will there be some type of recovery mechanism for this? Uh, or is the title to the car just can be bricked on chain. Okay. Um, you know, if there is some type of recovery mechanism, does, does that present the opportunity for government to seize ownership of the asset? Um, so if anybody has a good answer to these questions, I'd love to hear from you down in the comment section below. Now, that being said, there, of course, are some potential problems. There could be good answers to these problems, but where could this technology go in the future? Okay. One thing I want to highlight in the article is they say providing that the technology works at scale, this enables other jurisdictions to implement similar approaches. Other jurisdictions, that's the key. So the easiest win that I see after this, the next logical step is with identity, okay? Because we're already talking about the DMV working with blockchain and then moving ownership of car titles around. What's to stop them from actually doing this with driver's licenses, okay? Because people hate to go to the DMV for that exact purpose. It's probably the most common reason people go to the DMV. Um, and sure, you know, you can renew your license online in most places, but if they're already using blockchain as a value transfer for vehicle ownership, you know, your identity is the most valuable thing that you have, okay? Obviously, you're not going to transfer it, but you can use it um, with many advantages in ways that you can't right now. So it opens up the door for using your digital identity online, okay, with things like zero knowledge proofs, okay? So what is that? Basically, it's a way that you can use blockchain technology to prove that certain information is true without revealing the information itself. So for example, if you want to prove your age online, you can prove that you are at least a certain age without telling a website what your age actually is. Same thing, if you want to prove that you live in a certain country, a certain state, a certain zip code, you can prove that you satisfy those conditions without revealing the information itself, okay? And so that's some easy wins that we can get by digitizing identity. And if you already have DMVs doing this with automotive titles, then what's to stop them from doing it for digital identities for just humans? Now, on top of that, 
you know, other jurisdictions. So outside the DMV, my mind instantly goes to real estate. Okay. So, you know, we have title transfers in the real estate world. Basically, these are big, expensive assets that have to be taxed in some way. And therefore, you need a piece of paper in a local jurisdiction to know who owns that and who's going to pay taxes. And so if we can get this adopted with automotive in certain areas, then we can probably start to make progress in the direction of real estate. And this is a big win in my book because, you know, real estate is trending to be more an online process, completely online. People already do window shopping uh, for real estate with Zillow. Okay. Many companies are offering the ability for you to sell your home to one of these online merchants. Okay. So what happens when you can literally just go look for a place to live online and then buy it with a click of a button, just buy a house online. Well, blockchain could be the missing puzzle piece that facilitates this. And, you know, this news that we're seeing today, the automotive transfers could be the next domino to fall to getting, you know, local jurisdictions on board to make this a reality. All right. So that's a story on California digitizing auto titles on the blockchain. So people are buying and selling on chain that really solves a problem that most people are problem aware of. And this presents blockchain as a solution to that problem. So let me know what you think down in the comment section below. How soon is this going to get adopted? Are you excited about this? What are the pros and cons? I want to hear from you. And whenever you're finished leaving your comment, make sure you smash that like button down below and subscribe. And if you're like me and you see this type of stuff taking off and you can see that this is a brand new industry that's growing rapidly, has tons of future upside potential, then what's the best way to capitalize on that growth? Well, it's to increase your technical skills and become a blockchain developer so that you can increase your income. And I can show you how to do that step-by-step from start to finish over at dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. You really don't have to be an expert to get started today. I've helped people with zero coding experience become real-world blockchain developers in a matter of months. So that's all I've got. And until next time, thanks for watching Dapp University.